All right, so guys, in this video, <laughs> I don't think about some other funny shit, but in this video, we're going to talk about literally why you should never fucking disrespect a chosen one. Now, I already made a video similar to this on, like, the consequences of what the fuck would happen, like, literally the physical consequences, like, you getting fucked up, you getting beat, the, like, shit like that, like, you could get killed and shit like that, like, this terrible shit if you try to fuck with a chosen one. But also, like, now I'm talking about just, uh, like, what we are going to do that's He's like, guys, some people are not going to get that type of punishment, like getting like hurt physically or or just <laughs> fucked up shit like that. You know, some people aren't going to get that type of punishment. They're going to the, the worst punishment these niggas going to get, which is honestly worse than all this other shit, like the, the physical punishment, getting hurt, getting hospitalized and shit. That's not the worst punishment that they could have. Even death. That's not even the worst punishment. That's not the worst. The worst punishment for them, okay, is you literally rising and blowing up to another level. So I'm going to talk about that shit in here. And we're going to talk about four parts, four reasons why you should never disrespect a chosen one. You guys know what I mean by disrespect. Take advantage of them, use them, whatever. Nigga, disrespect a chosen one, okay? This is four reasons why you should never do this shit, okay? Never do this shit, all right? Never do this shit. And if you're not chosen one who think they're chosen one, trying to act like they're chosen ones, you should watch this shit too. Okay, or this 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 is just really for us, okay? Cause really for y'all. Cause y'all need to know what the fuck y'all who y'all are. And y'all need to know what the fuck finna happen for y'all. Okay? It, 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 this shit ain't rocket science, shit simple. Okay, so get just let's just get straight into this shit. Number one, why you should not disrespect the chosen one is the cutoff, okay? When you cut them the fuck off, okay, when you completely get rid of them. That shit is actually effective as fuck. Okay, cause you gotta understand the chosen one. You make people feel fucking good. I'm telling you, nigga. I told you this shit a long time ago. You make people feel good just with your presence alone. What the fuck? Whatever you was doing for them, you was making them feel good. Now that shit is over. And they're like, damn, what the fuck did I... They start to realize... Now they 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 they, they know... They're not seeing you want the, the, the levels of success you're finna reach. But they, as a natural person, they realize, damn, this person was actually a good person. This shit was actually useful for them. You know what I'm saying? Even if you, they don't give a fuck if you're a good person, they, they see what the hell they was using out of you, and they don't have that shit anymore, okay? So that shit is fucking them up, okay? That shit will fuck people up. I'm telling you, that shit will fuck them up. I'm telling you. That's why you see a lot of people from the past, like, watching you shit, watching you and shit, watching your stories and shit, and they, they nigga, they thinking about you. You know they thinking about you, nigga. You know that shit, all right? You know that shit, nigga. So, so like, that's that's one thing. It's the cutoff when you cut them off. These people start to regret that shit. They're like, damn, what the fuck? Why the fuck? That's actually a good person, a decent person, a good human being. And then actually that shit will start to fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? It'll start to fuck with them. Okay? Chosen one, when you cut these niggas up, I'm telling you, that shit affects them, nigga. Especially if you know who you are, a righteous person, a righteous human being. So that shit start to fuck with them a little bit, nigga. I'm telling you, it start to fuck with them. Okay? Because they're not getting the same feeling that they was having before. You know what I'm saying? They, they thought they were... See, people are stupid. Some people are stupid. They thought it was like that when they realized, holy shit, I'm not like that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people start to realize they're not like that. You know what I'm saying? And then they see what the fuck you were doing for them. And now that they don't have that shit no more, that shit could fuck them up. Okay? It will fuck them up, guys. So that's number one. Okay? When you cut them the fuck off. That's why you see a lot of people coming back trying to watch your stories. You see a lot of people coming back trying to just see what you're trying to do for, like, literally obsessed. Instead of getting obsessed with you, literally thinking about you 24-7. Literally realizing what the fuck they had and they lost that shit. Okay, number that's number one. We're not even getting into the real shit yet. That's number one is the cutoff. Is you cutting up? I'm telling you, you made people feel fucking good, bro. You made them feel good just with your presence alone. The chosen ones are very charismatic people, empathetic people, and just relatable people. So they people don't people naturally literally just fucking don't realize what they have until it's gone. Like nigga, if you never if your phone broke right now. You wouldn't appreciate that shit until it's broken, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But right now, you may use your phone all day, nigga. If that shit breaks in right now, nigga, you're going to feel like, oh, shit, what the fuck, bro? You know what I'm saying? She's going to fuck you up a little bit. So that's number one. It's the cutoff, nigga. That's just part one. That's not even really shit right now. That's not, A lot of you guys are just on this face right now, all right? It's just the cutoff, okay? A lot of you niggas right here, okay? It's just when you cut people off. They just want this shit to fuck them up, okay? And they realize, and they're not, you're not going to let them come back. Okay, and that shit's starting to fuck people up. Okay, number two, all right, is the season of receiving. That's number two in this shit. The season, a lot of you guys aren't even at that point yet. 
I'm I have just began this shit. I don't give a fuck what you talking about, nigga. But I have to but I have to literally keep doing what I'm doing or it's gonna keep stopping this shit. That's what the fuck was happening this whole fucking time. I was supposed to be doing some shit, but I wasn't doing it because I it was fucking annoying shit. I can't even explain shit. But I'm in this season right now. I'm literally beginning this shit. Literally. Okay, but I'm not gonna keep thinking on this shit. Alright? But it's a season of receiving, okay? Your transformation. Okay, this is why you should not cut off of this. Is why, I mean, not this is why you should not disrespect a chosen one. Because they literally are going to transform. What you see, who they were in that past version is not who they really are. Okay, that was just them at their low seat down season. Okay, now when you start to transform and literally change into an individual, you literally start to change, literally different. You start to look different, changing, growing better. Everything financially, success wise, everything's starting to come at you now. Okay. And now they're peeping that shit. They're like, damn, what the fuck? This motherfucker is leveling up at another fucking level. You know what I'm saying? Now they want to be a part of that. No, you ain't going to be a part of shit. Okay? You ain't being a part of shit now. Nigga, you stupid. Y'all motherfuckers should have thought about that shit before y'all did that stupid shit. Now you're not coming back when it's time for So when it's your season of receiving, it's transformation and everything. Not just receiving. You're transforming. You're looking different. Looking better. Everything is literally working out for you now. Everything you've been fucking wanting is literally finally happening. And my, and this is what's going to shock the fuck out these people. Okay? okay? It's going to literally make them want to fucking want to come back. Okay? This, this is what's going to make these people want to come back into your life. Okay? <laughs> and to see that you're literally transforming. I'm talking about money-wise, physically. That shit's going to fuck these niggas up. Okay? You're literally transforming. You're receiving shit. Okay? And you look different. You look better. Okay, they gonna want to let each other come back. No, it's not gonna happen, and that's gonna fuck them up. Cause when people don't like when you start doing good in life, bro, they don't like cause they're not doing shit in life. Okay, and you are, so that's like, damn, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And they gonna want a piece of that shit, and they ain't getting shit from that shit. Stupid ass people. You should have you should have thought about that when you did what you did. And then you didn't want to think about that. Okay, cool. Well, it's my turn. Okay, and it's called karma. Guys, don't feel bad for nobody. It's your turn to succeed. Don't feel bad for people. Okay, so number two. All right. The second reason why, you know what I'm saying, you shouldn't disrespect the chosen one is because they're going to later transform into a greater version of themselves. And it's going to be miraculous. You never going to even think about It's not just, guys, it's not, we are chosen ones. So it's not going to be a little transformation. You're getting a little bit, of, bro, it's going to be big. <laughs> it's going to be literally big as fuck. You're not even going to realize how, but they're not, it's going to be unfathomable, unfathomable on how motherfucking, like, it's going to be like crazy, bro. Okay, it's not gonna be regular shit. It's gonna be big shit. You niggas know what the fuck you want and what you're gonna manifest. It's not gonna be little shit. It's gonna be big shit. It's gonna be like this. It's gonna be like you completely transform into a different person, bro. It's not the same shit. Okay, that's what I'm trying to tell you niggas this shit, bro. It's gonna be crazy. Okay, so that's that's number two. It's, it's gonna shock the fuck out of people. I'm not playing when I'm telling you niggas this shit, bro. It's gonna literally shock the fuck out of people. Everybody, everybody that you know. Fans, haters, everybody is going to shock the fuck out of you niggas, all right? So you got to understand this. This is why you should not disrespect the chosen one. They don't understand this shit, but you do. You need to understand. All right, this is part three now, okay? It's the blow up. <laughs> Bro, this shit is going to be the best part about this shit. This is when you finally live in your purpose. I told you niggas going to be... You're going to have massive success, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have a lot of success. You're going to have a lot of money, a lot of wealth. People think money is bad. It's stupid, okay? They're fucking retarded, all right? A lot of success, a lot of wealth, and you're gonna take off to just big ass levels. That's gonna fuck them up, bro. It's, it, it's gonna fuck them up. Cause now you're on a different level that most people cannot even reach ever. Okay, you are on that level now. Okay, living your purpose and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 another reason why you should not disrespect them. They're gonna they're gonna make this shit. True chosen ones, okay? A lot of motherfuckers are chosen ones, and they're not even commenting shit in the, in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? They're not commenting anything. They're not even doing anything. They just watch the video, and they move on, and they take the information, okay? That, the, the, the chosen ones are literally, you're going to make this shit. You're going to reach these levels, bro. You're going to reach these levels, bro. And these motherfuckers is going to literally, it's going to fucking, I'm telling you, it's going to really destroy them, bro. It's going to fuck them up. It's going to make them literally cry, guys. It's going to make these names. I'm telling you, it's good. some people are going to hate you for, like, really want to kill you. That's how good this is going to be, bro. And that's how you know this shit going to be good. And if, guys, you don't got to worry about that. I told you, if you try to even think about doing some negative shit to a chosen one, it's going to end up coming back at you. You know what I'm saying? So they're actually going to end up killing themselves or getting bad shit going to happen to them 
just for them even wanting to think about doing some negative shit to you. So it's never going to happen to you. So don't worry about that. But guys, like, honestly, like, bro, this shit, is, this is what's going to fuck them up. It's going to literally destroy them. And they deserve that shit. It's called karma. You don't disrespect a chosen one, guys. Especially if a chosen one, like, bro, if you're doing good shit to people and they take advantage of that shit and do you dirty, don't cry when it's, <laughs> don't cry when it's, it's your turn, bro. Well, don't cry when it's your turn to, to, to live the, the beautiful experiences in this life. Don't cry when you're blowing up. Don't cry when I'm blowing up. Don't cry when I'm doing amazing shit. Don't cry now. Don't cry now. You had your opportunity and you wanted to take advantage of this shit. You know what I'm saying? You had the opportunity, okay? A lot of people had the opportunity with you. Okay, so don't cry now when it's your turn, okay? Don't cry now. It's called karma, guys. So don't feel bad for them either. Don't feel bad for these niggas either, okay? But that's number three. It's the blow up. I'm telling you, you know what the fuck you're going to do. I don't got to tell you. Everybody got their purpose. It's called the blow up, okay? The blow up, all right? You all going to blow up to different levels. And now number four. This is number four why you should not disrespect a chosen one, okay? If you disrespect a chosen one, this is what the fuck going to happen to you, okay? Number four is literally... The, the 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 mental karma, okay? These people will first of all they're already thinking about you every day, okay? They God, they they have this part this karma karma on them right now, right? But when you after you done transform, cut them off, transform, blow up, they are literally you gonna be in their head for life. Like it's it's like every moment of the day you're gonna be stuck in the head. That's part of a karma, guys. That's that's actually the worst part of like punishment. You can have for somebody. It's literally having them obsessively in the head. You're going to literally be obsessively in these motherfuckers' head, bro. To the point that it's going to fucking anger them to the point. It's going to, it's going to, that's going to drain them, bro. It's going to, you're going to be in their head 24 7. Now you already all in their head, but it's not as bad as it's going to be after you did all these other shit I just told you. You're going to be in the head to the point where it's fucking them up so bad. And to the point that you're like, bro, I, I can't handle this shit no more. It's gonna be like it's gonna fuck them up terribly. Okay, that's number four. You're gonna be in their head. It's the, the the mental karma. Okay, it's called mental karma. You're gonna be in their head for 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 a while, like forever, for until they die, bro. <laughs> but but this shit is funny because these niggas think, that, bro. These niggas are stupid for doing what the fuck they did. Okay, people did the most ruthless, heartless shit. You gotta understand. I'm not doing this shit. I'm not. This is why I'm gonna be cocky as fuck. I'm not doing, if you never did, some of these motherfuckers never did these ruthless, heartless shit that they did, I wouldn't do this right now. I really wouldn't do this. So every moment where your life is just shining, bro, they, and they literally gonna keep researching you and searching you up. They literally gonna be obsessed with you and it's gonna fuck them up because they realize that they could have been a part of this. But they never gonna be a part of it now because you wanna do some ruthless shit, okay, to a chosen one, okay? If this was a regular person, none of this shit would happen to them. Now, they, they've been doing this to plenty of people. But because they did to a chosen one, it's going to fuck them up, okay? It's going to fuck them up, okay? So, guys, that's it, okay? There's four reasons why you should not disrespect a chosen one. If you do this shit, if you're watching this shit, and you disrespect a chosen one, and you're not a chosen one, you do this shit to disrespect a true chosen one, it, it's over for you, okay? Because all chosen ones are destined to win. There's no way we're going to not try to live, uh, get it. The only way we're going to do that shit is if we're not, we're not going to take any action. But that's literally impossible as a chosen one if we don't take action. So that's the only way. That's the only way we're not gonna reach our destiny is if we just not take action or anything. But that's impossible because our higher self will fuck us up. God, whatever you, you know, what I'm saying, will fuck you up until you finally do what you gotta do. <laughs> okay, so guys, this is all you gotta know. Okay, this is really, understand what you gotta understand. This is why you should not disrespect the chosen one. Be happy that you're a chosen one. Okay, be grateful that you're a chosen one because all this shit that I'm telling you in this video is literally gonna happen. That's why you shouldn't hope for bad things for people. This punishment, these four things that I told you are the best karma, the best revenge you can get for mm, anybody. I promise you. Them bad shit, physically bad shit that's happening, it's not, I don't even wish that on anybody. I honestly don't. But if they're going to try to do some harm to me, then yeah, you should get your ass fucked up, okay? By the universe, by my ancestors and shit. But other than that, I don't want that shit. To, I don't even want that shit to happen. I want this shit that I just told you to happen. That's the best karma. That's the best karma. That's going to fucking eat them alive, bro. To the point that it's going to... Oh, my God, bro. God, this is what you should do, okay? If you're a chosen one, you should be grateful that you're a chosen one. And, guys, just, just just watch the other videos that I have. I've left links in other videos that you can watch that will actually change your life. Literally links to different shit that you need to be watching that will change your life if you apply this shit. Okay, guys? But, yeah.